Hey everybody, we're doing the Guardian Gauntlet and we're continuing and banning Terra from the Guardian Gauntlet. Yeah, rejoice, everybody cheers, yay. Okay, so basically, uh, Terra's, Terra's no fun. Okay, so we're just, we're, we're skipping her. I might do a full gameplay for her another time where I'm allowed to record a bunch of videos and upload the best one. But the Guardian Gauntlet, since it's basically, I, I can't record secret games basically and only upload the good ones. It doesn't make sense to have Terra in here because it's going to be a bunch of bad attempts. So, well, we'll, 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 I'll do a video for her some other time, you know, but for now, no. And either way, we're on Xing Tian. So basically, if we lose twice with Xing Tian, we go Savannah and so forth. But, uh, yeah, also, I accidentally banned Fafnir. Fafnir is right next to Hebo. Uh, luckily, this guy had my back and he banned, he banned Hebo. So, good stuff, good stuff. Even though he only banned four gods. Jing Tian, oh, this, oh, I need to use new skin. Oh, missed opportunity. Either way, I was just about to say, this skin I used to hate, but it's so meany, it's kind of, kind of great. Man, I meant to use the new skin. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, okay, so we gotta, let's say start off the game with Jing Tian, you gotta say let's rumble. Xing Tian, he has a couple of good starts. Um, I think just rushing Bancrofts is all honestly pretty good on him. Um, against Discordia, Aegis is pretty nice. Her all, all of her damage is burst damage, especially her ultimate. Interesting thing about this matchup, both of us have extremely short leaps that can go over blue buff. So, I'm sure that's... Oh, it tells you when I ping the map. Interesting. I forgot about that. It's been, uh, been in the game for a while now. Discordia is pretty good god. Uh, not OP, not underpowered at all, though. She's very, she has very strong late game. I'm going to start... It looks like she's starting Book of Thoth. Okay, so that's bad for me. But, hey, maybe we can make the early game work. She did get beads, so we're going to try to pop those as fast as possible. Get her and the minions. The nice thing about hitting her is the minions group up. I didn't kill that archer rip. Come back here, archer! Now we're just going to auto-trade. Her auto's hit harder, but I have life still. Give me that 3 HP. So technically, my auto's hit harder if we're including the HP I re regain by hitting her. Also, I'm trying to keep my passive here. Shinkan's passive, very underwhelming. I mean, it helps, but again, very underwhelming. I'm not a big, big fan of it, to be honest. I only liked it when there was way more... Uh, when HP 5 items were better. Stone the guy I used to be heal more and stuff like that. Come on. Auto, auto, auto. I'm actually going to have to save my mana here. We're both going to run out of mana around the same time, I think. She's going to run out a little bit after me. So I might, I'm actually going to only use one ability here. Maybe two. Maybe two. Looks like she had a similar idea. Okay, I got my alt. If I could get her her beads here, that would be incredible. Although she could just counter alt. She has many ways on my alt. She can leap out of it, she can counter alt, or she can beads. Hmm. Oh, are you going back? I'll take red if you're going back. Don't mind if I do. Okay, okay. That's a win for Xing Tian. Xing's auto cancels are so weird because his animation to fire the auto is so long. I don't even think it's that worth it to auto cancel sometimes. But I do it anyways. Alright, we're backing. Okay, so let's go. There's no way she can afford Book of Thoth, right? Book of Thoth is 1100. So she must have had to back before finishing it. Unless she went to blue buff and then back again. No, she can't finish it. Okay, good. She'll probably just back immediately again, but, you know, whatever. Your middle tower is under attack. Okay, now... We are ahead by 30 gold. Now, if I can prevent her from taking her blue buff, it'll be very good. Ah, uh, it's too late. <laughs> As she comes back with blue buff, okay. Alright, nope. Can I get your beads? Nope. Like I said, she can go over that wall. 
Very smart of her to do that. It's kind of funny because a lot of Discord dudes don't know that you can go over that wall. Or gods like Xing Tian. Uh, Fenrir can use his three over it. Discordia. Some people don't know that. So you can kind of abuse it against them. We should definitely get out here. I just want the XP. I'm not going to get the gold. I'm going to get some gold. Okay. Get our boots. I think full cooldown Jing Tian is like really good. Oh, I, did I even talk about how good Jing Tian is in duel? I think he's like A. A plus against gods that don't have leaps. Um, he's extraordinarily good against any god that doesn't have CC immunity built into their kit. Because then he can just, uh, like, he just baits their escape and then one shots them with ult. That does so much damage if they don't, uh, see, if they don't use beads. Because it's, uh, the ultimate is, uh, one. It's, it's, how much is it? It's, it damages once for the hook, three times for the spin, and once for the throw. So, if they beads, they don't get the hook or the throw damage. So, they only take three out of five ticks. Which is a lot less. That's why when the, they initially announced the buff for Jing Tian, I thought it was going to be way better than it actually is. Because I thought they were going to take all five ticks of damage, but no. Man, I'm, I kind of kind of feel like I should hold the wave here. I mean, it feels kind of... It's like, I don't like holding the wave, but if they're going to back like right as a wave gets here and they're full health and mana, it's like, of course I'm going to hold the wave and last hit. Why wouldn't I, right? She only lost two minions, but... Maybe? Nice! Did she not beat? I, if she beats that, she might have still died anyways, but either way, I got her. I guess her, th her three isn't uh, long enough to get out of my ult. For some reason, I thought that if she used it at the perfect timing, she would uh, be able to dodge most of the, the damage ticks, but I guess not. She's still going to hit get hit by at least four. All right, now we go back. Get this, get... Well, if we could go Void or Genji's here, I'm going to go with the Genji's. We have a very good ultimate, so anything that lowers the cooldown of our ult is very, is is going to help. Jing Tian, I wouldn't say he plays around his ultimate, but but his ult and his one are like his best damaging abilities. The CC on his two is huge, which is why I'm leveling it. By the way, C increases the root duration. If you like root them under tower or something, for two seconds they can't do anything. It's pretty good. Oh, and I kind of want to explain how Jing Tian's 3 works, because some people that watch these videos don't don't play the god, and they want to learn the god. And they... You notice it gives protections, and it says only when he uh, he's in the air, right? Some s people will sometimes ask me, why is that even useful? But, like, let's take uh, Cupid Heart Bomb, for example, right? If Cupid Heart Bombs you, and then the, you're about to die and use the 3 while you're in the air, you get the protections when it hits you, and you can possibly live with that. It's not... It's a very niche situation for that, but like any do damage over time, you can kind of prevent some damage. But more importantly, if you hit a target with your three, you get the protections for an additional what? Three seconds? Yeah, three seconds. So if you hit someone and then you leave, I protect you for three seconds. That, that, why'd that all go that way? Did she hit the tower? I thought I juked it, but in reality, she just threw it the entire other way. God, Guardians are so fun when they're not Terra. Someone was telling me in the comments how they uh, they won with Terra in a custom 1v1, and therefore I uh, uh, they are better than me. It amazes me. There we go. Got him. Let's see, so... I can get my blue buff and I'm back. After Genji's, I'm going to get uh, Spear of the Mages. Spear of the Mages is very good on my tick. Tick damage. You know, I should have been playing Jin Tian during the Blackthorn meta because it's 1% health. It's not much percent health, but it's enough to, to have been kind of good. 
the Blackthorn meta, thank God, is kind of dying. She had thorns. Ooh, blink, blink. Yeah, I already took my blue buff. Aha, I'm glad I took it before I backed. She is going Bancroft, so we'll probably want a Divine Ruin later on. I, oh, that's another good thing about this matchup. I can use my three to leap over her alt, her one, and her two. Which is actually really good. This matchup is actually getting better by the second. But of course, if my three's down, then no. Alright, let's go take, take red buff, I suppose. I don't think she can steal it. As long as I do my abilities right. Aww. Was not counting on her to ult a 1 HP red buff. I always say on her mains ult the wave, Poseidon mains ult red buff. I mean ult blue buff. Poseidon mains will always ult their blue buff, man. All the time if you try to steal it from them. Or if they're stealing it from you. But I can't say that Discordia mains will ult red buff. Who ults red buff? Hmm. I'll have to think about that. Ho oh, yees. Maybe Hoyi's. Hoyi's just ricochet it usually though. Okay, I'm thinking too much about this. <laughs> I don't like it when they back, man. When the wave's here and they back, so I always try and delay that. That way they lose as much XP and gold as possible, or they have to stay for one more wave. Can I? If I can force her beads here, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Force the beads. That was not a good beads, my friend. Oh no, I was rooted. I gotta get out. I could have killed her, but I used my two too early. Using my two too early was the death of me. That's okay. The important thing is her beats me down next time. Alright, steal this again. Ooh, but I don't have that many that much cooldowns. Okay, good. Got it. Let's go around and do all the buffs. Buffs are worth so much in duel, man. If you steal your opponent's blue buff, the amount of gold you will get ahead is insane. Just because you're not on not only are you uh, are you getting the huge amount of XP and gold, but you're stealing that from your opponent, so it's like dub worth double. And then of course you know the timer, so you can do it perfectly again. That's how you snowball in duel, honestly. Not the red buff, not the XP camps, but stealing your opponent's blue buff. Like, your own blue buff is what you should be getting regularly. Red buff is what you get in addition. And blue is stealing it from your opponent. She just stole mine. But that's okay. I got the minis. Minis aren't worth as much, but it's something. She should vault it there. On Jing Tian, after you ult, the second they hit the ground, use your two. If you use it earlier, it won't knock them up. But if you wait until the second they hit the ground, you get, like, twice as much CC. It's great. More important in like other game modes though, where you have a where you have a team to follow up. And duel is still very important though. You're trying to maximize the amount of time they can't do anything. I'm taking this, that's fine. I'm not gonna take it long. I'm gonna wait until I'm in the air to do my sleep. Oh, I didn't even do it. Well it's trying to show the protections. I didn't even do it right. Alright, let's go back. She doesn't have blink, does she? Oh red buff's up. That's fine. I have 3,600 gold. Life pro tip and duel, don't wait till you have 3,600 gold to back. That is way too much. Okay, I probably want... Yeah, Divine Rune sounds good here. Also, let's get some wards. I do like Polly on Jingtian. Um, that's mainly, of course, as for all the Guardians I play, for Bull Demon King. Not even for my opponent. For Bull Demon and for Phoenix. And that's the only reason Yorm isn't that good, man. If Yorm could build Polly, he'd be so much better. Oh, another thing. People have been asking me if I will play Yemoja in duel. Right now, she is not allowed in ranked duel. So, um, if I get, when I get to Yemoja, she's allowed, I will play her. But right now, since she's not, we will not play her in the Guardian Gauntlet. I will instead do a full gameplay with her once she comes out. I think she's okay. I do think she's better than some of the other Guardians just because she's ranged. Being ranged is huge. Like, Sylvanas, Sylvanas damage is bad, alright? It's relatively bad, but because he's a ranged 
guard, he's a range god. It's, he's actually not that bad. She's gonna all. Nope, I guess not. That's the first time she actually beats my all, actually. All right, let's go back. Recall. Is she gonna stop me? No, but I can actually gank her. She thinks I'm backing. She just terrific me. I don't know about this uh, this relic choice. Terrific's pretty good when your opponent doesn't have sprint, but I don't know. I know I just have so much mobi mobility with my leap. Unfortunately, her spawn timer is so low, I actually can't do anything. By the time she spawns, uh, that's when my phoenix, my minions will be at her phoenix. So we really need to uh, think about taking bull, bull demon pretty soon. Even though we don't have poly, should be okay. We have a... Oh, she got sentry. Uh-oh. Oh, let's not forget our blue buff. Also, I moved my mic from uh, being on my desk to being uh, like a on a stand. Been meaning to do that for a very long time. So this is like the second day I'm using it like that, and I hope the audio quality is okay. I might be picking up my keyboard, but you know me. I'm always saying I fix my audio quality, it gets worse. <laughs> but oh well. One day, one day we'll have perfect audio. Ah, she didn't get hit by that. That's okay. So, she has a sentry right there. How much until we can get Polly? It'll be a while. Now, going for Bull Demon without Polly and without Vision on Jingtian, not that great. Because I don't have that good of secure. My one's okay secure, but if Discordia comes in and uses her combo, she's going to secure it. It's actually one thing I hate about Duel. Is the fact that a mage can be sitting so far back. And then once Bull Demon starts being taken, they can steal it so much easier than their opponent because they have better secure. I really wish Bull Demon was something other than a monster you have to kill. I feel like it would be better for all go all gods and duels. Like even with mages, when a mage is fighting a mage, like you shouldn't have to, like it shouldn't come down to opponent just coming and ulting it and then they're gone. You know, it should either be more risky than that or harder to steal. But then again, disabling your tower is very strong. So, I don't know. That's all the damage I'm doing. Okay, I also put an aggressive ward here. A while ago, they changed the smite so that when you use a random ward, it's just the same ward. Kind of sucks. But oh well. Yeah, here she comes. I don't have Polly. She just stole my uh, award. Okay, it's back. Can I get Polly yet? Almost. Almost. Well, let's just stay. I kind of hate to be doing this, but uh, I think we're going to have to start holding the wave. She's sitting too far back. And general feedback I've got from you guys is you guys prefer if I just hold the wave if they are sitting in their Phoenix. So let's just do that. I won't hold it forever, just until I can get fourth poly. Whoops. <laughs> Trying to last hit. But she intends autos take so long. Lasting and smite gives you a tiny bit more gold. Most of the time it's not that worth it though. I got one auto in, yeah! I can afford Polly now though, so that's where it's, that's, that's good. So it's back. I mean, still kill her is super easy, which is, which is amazing. But, oh, right now she's doing a really good job at, at sitting in that Phoenix. It's like, it's understandable. I don't care as much if someone's sitting in Phoenix, if they're behind. Um, because it's kind of like that's what they have to do 
It's mainly when someone's ahead and they sit in their phoenix. That's when I hate it. It's like you're ahead and you are just waiting till you're level 20. Like, come on. But in this type of situation, I don't mind it as much. I have a very weird mindset on duel and what's etiquette, I guess, and what's kind of scummy. Like backdooring is scummy, but also you shouldn't you you should be warded up if someone's gonna backdoor you, right? You shouldn't just rely on its etiquette to not backdoor, therefore I don't have to ward. You should still ward and then if they backdoor you there's the scummy, but you're prepared, you know? I don't know. The only times like ever since I started warding when I'm on defense, I, I don't get backdoored that often, but sometimes it's just when I'm way too far up, or I don't have wards, or my mind is somewhere else, those types of things. Why did I put my sentry over there, by the way? It doesn't matter. I think, well, here's a plan. Even if she comes and steals it, we should be able to kill her with my ult, because she doesn't have much against it. Also, Jinken's 2 does not damage Bull Demon on the way up, which kind of sucks. Okay, she is right there. I think I'm going to start attacking her. want her to come closer, though. Is that CC immunity? There we go. Now she's dead for 35 seconds. Um, I'm honestly just going to take Bull Demon because I don't want to push the wave up just to find out that she's respawning right as I'm over there. And honestly, I don't want her getting Bull Demon either in case she gets a lucky kill or something. There's been so many times I'll decide to push and then it turns out that they're respawning. Also, I'm trying to time my abilities with Polly. I don't always do it, but sometimes it's good to do. Like here, we can just use our three, and then use three again. There we go. Now we'll just back, get our... Well, can we afford... Can afford Speed Potion plus tier three item. So we'll just get that, get that, get that. And maybe, maybe we'll upgrade our Aegis. Okay, let's go. Upgrading Blink is almost never worth it, unless every time you blink, your opponent like alts or something. And even then, it's two seconds. It's not the longest time in the world. She missed her root. This could be huge. She is going to go over this wall. I'm actually going to blink after her. And we'll alt. And that should be game. Yeah! GG! Woo, what a, what a good Jing Tian game. I love playing, I love playing Guardians, man. Minus Terra. Ah, it feels so good. Feels so good. That means we're on Ymir. So, we're pretty much at the end of the Guardian Gauntlet. Uh, I, I think I'm going to decide to win Ymirith. I don't know. Well, we'll I'll, I'll do it based on the comments, but I think winning Ymir three times in a row or something. I don't know. Or just once, just so we can finish the series. And we can do a Season 2 or uh, Warrior Gauntlet or something. I don't know. But either way, GG. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And I, I thank you again to those that understand the, the short break I had from videos. And yeah, just getting back in the swing of things. Thank you guys. And I just want to say a huge thank you to my patrons. I want to shout out Zach the Guy and the Son of the Muffin Man for being some of my top tier patrons. Really appreciate it. It means a lot to me and lets me keep doing what I'm doing. Thank you guys so much.